Did it pick up on your feed yet? Oh, it'll take a little while. Oh, that's right. It's like a minute behind or something yeah. stupid. Yeah. On there. You know. That was exciting. I'm going to do that again. It's so exciting. <laughs> what, the countdown? <laughs> Okay, hide that. All right, oh, we're moving that. Go. We're there back. We go. Hey. We're back. Hello, welcome to this day. It's uh, Tuesday in Japan, but it's Monday where you are, Bill, right? Yeah, Monday. And uh, we got this guest uh, with us today over here, hanging out in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I lost a lot of weight. Yeah, Cody, you're not you're not looking too good. Actually, I think you look pretty good. You Thanks. look, uh, yeah. Yeah, the grocery are you out? all out of shit. But the grocery stores are all out of shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good. Why is the hand like that up in position? Why is your hand up like that? Oh, look, look there you go. Toilet paper. <laughs> no toilet paper. <laughs> You know, that's, that's almost the position when the guy tells you to cough. <laughs> <laughs> the guy? You mean the doctor? <laughs> the doctor. <laughs> I'm friends with my doctor, so I don't call him doc. I just call him the guy. <laughs> I, I just got the impression that whenever any guy tells you to cough, you just you just follow suit and cough. You know, just don't let him hold the hand like that, it is what it is. Yeah. If he grabs you in the right <laughs> spot. Yeah. You'll cough. <laughs> <laughs> so Cody got all your uh, your tours canceled, huh? Mm -hmm. Or for a while? Are they? Yeah. Is it indefinitely, or or do you know? No, we're have... trying to like reschedule everything that got canceled <clears throat> right yeah. now. So we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully soon. There. This is kind of cool. We're all in. You guys are in different part. You're in uh, Colorado, Cody, and. Bill, you're in uh, Illinois, and I'm in Japan. So that's pretty great. Modern technology. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Well, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, for you, it's probably Kombawa right now, so it's nighttime. <laughs> and uh, Ohio gozaimasu, because it's morning here. But uh, Konnichiwa works. It works all day long. <laughs> works. Uh. So Cody, uh, is there anybody, uh, people uh, who are starting to watch this, if you catch us live, you could uh, make some comments in the side there and maybe uh, some questions that we can ignore or to uh, read and then move on to something else. Cody, what's your thing with cats? You like pictures of you. You're just a, you're just a sentimental guy, right? You like, like animals. Cats. Yeah. I don't know. I got two cats. They're yeah. Yeah, they're great. One of them's always puking in her bed, and I have to clean it up, which kind of sucks. But <laughs> I, uh, where, where's those? I got these videos that I was looking at. Let me see if I could see any of them. Oh, boy. Yeah, John wanted to talk all like favorite bottle rocket video, favorite this, and I'm like, let's do cats, sports, and food. Let's break it up for you. <laughs> Out of all the ones I found, this is the this is the one that I like the most. This oh, that one's cat good. One here. Oh, you've see, you've seen this one, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Talking to each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the intro to Cody's love songs. <laughs> Done. <laughs> that is five minutes of cats. That's the whole album. <laughs> whole album. <laughs> Which is like a single drum beat in the back or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this part's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that what you were saying the whole time is lick me? <laughs> or, or cough? Cough. He was caught. <laughs> uh, so there, that's that's 
that I set aside for you, Cody. I thought you'd enjoy that. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's a good one. That's top ten for sure. Geez, uh, I wonder if I could actually find one that you don't that you don't even know. You probably watch a lot of cat videos, huh? I watch quite a few. You should uh, see if you can find Oolong Johnson. That's a good one. Long Johnson? Oolong. <laughs> Oolong. Like the tea, you know? Oh, yeah. Oolong Johnson. Here it is. The best of see, taking <laughs> cat says Oolong. Talking cat says Oolong Johnson. Is that yeah. the one? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to check this out here. Well, I'm going to use my skills of technology to. There it is. Great. <laughs> Here we go. Just the one, Cody. Yeah, I think so. sounds like when you take a commodity <laughs> office. Oh my god. I think that's by far my favorite one I've ever seen. Thank you, Cody. Yeah. You've okay. changed my life. You've changed my life. You changed mine too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why don't we have anybody asking questions? Is, is it actually live out there? Do you know it's on yeah. Facebook? Um Jess asked uh, if we could touch on that Joe Exotic, but Oh, What's that? What's into into that? Speaking of cats, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I watched part of the what first is, uh, 45 minutes. Uh, it's people in Florida, or one dude in Florida, like having a, uh, a tiger farm, I guess. And then uh, a couple other people seem to get a little uh, upset about it, even though all three yeah. people are all in the same industry. And they're all batshit crazy. They are. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I, we just finished it last night. Um, I was just going to... Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, so you've watched it. Oh, it's that's right. It's on the Netflix. It shows in the, like... if you, It's like in the big screen of the Netflix choices. Uh-uh. It's a hot item right now. Uh -huh. I think they can get away with anything right now as far as making it uh, a hot item. Yeah. yeah. Times, are you know, times are tough. Um. It's not every day that a zookeeper went to prison for murder for hire. There are more captive tigers in the U.S. <laughs> than there are in the wild throughout the world. Yes, I didn't get that far to uh, see Scarface in it. Crazy. Yeah. Y'all got a story to tell. You know, so it looks like Patrick just joined us and he's got a uh, a pet possum he's working with now lately. A pet possum? Yeah, he's got the possum. Got it hanging out in, in, the, in the back alley around his house. Well, that's not a pet. So he's he's made a pet out of it. Yeah, that's enough of that. So people can watch it. <laughs> Only in Florida. Ray told me about that. All right. He's like, you gotta watch it. It's the best. And he's kind of right. Ah, I'll try to catch that one. Um, oh, I'm sorry. The, the, it's still talking to me. Where'd it go? No, I, oh, there it is. It's gone now. I think... Uh, was that, was that the, only in my head, or could you hear that, too? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it's only in my head, Cody. <laughs> you might want to see a doctor. 
Do you know, it, I can't believe this, but every year around our birthday, I keep forgetting it's your birthday too. Yeah. So every, sing, every single time I'm like, that's crazy. I don't know why, but I, I just, I don't know, feel like, it, just no, there's something odd about you and I having the same birth date. It is. Do you feel like, do you feel like a Pisces? Does that mean anything to you? No, you know, I hate the water. I, I don't like seafood. The water kind of creeps me out. So, yeah, yeah, it seems like I was born at the wrong time. Well, I don't. I mean, actually, I don't like water either. I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm like a cat where I say where I, where I just don't. I try to stay away from water as much as possible, only to shower when I have to. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I, I actually, uh, Pisces in general are supposed to be very artistic. Maybe slightly autistic, also. <laughs> yeah, the autistic and uh, and and sensitive and sensitive. Yeah, so. I, I was born in the wrong time then, apparently. Oh, Cody, you're sensitive. You're so sensitive that you that you put a shield up. <laughs> <laughs> you have an exoskeleton around your whole <laughs> self. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Uh, I'm not, I still. I'm not seeing any what, go ahead. questions. I don't. Is no one even watching? I don't think so. I don't There's see any people watching. Uh, just they're all still trying to get over Cody's skeleton. They thought he died. It might be my uh, internet service over here. We're still on dial-up. Ah, working on DSL still, eh? Yeah, you know. Uh, well, don't get the five G, man. You might get the weird uh, bat flu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are. There's tons of comments. They're, it's not going through our feed. What? That's really weird. Well, you got to like. Uh, oh, I guess that's the advantage of working off the phone and then seeing what's going on. Oh, I got. Gavin phone. wants to know oh, yeah. about. Uh... <laughs> Comment. A lot of comments, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> Planker Planker says, March 17th, worst birthday ever. Miss your beautiful faces. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that would suck birthday during this, these hard times. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it scrolling now on the side? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh. Cat beards. <laughs> Pluto has a 24-7 cat channel Do you know about this cat channel, Cody? No What is it? Let me write it down It says, it says Pluto Pluto? Where is that? Can someone I think that's a um... Oh, it says uh, Shio says he's just uh, Stunned in the silence by the Oolong Johnson video so. Oh, yeah, of course <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't be? Someone loves your someone loves your cover of Juke's College Town. Is that you, Cody? Yeah, that was Bottle Rocket. What was what? Why why did you cover that song? It was a good song. It was on a uh, old Lookout can of pork, like mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And we I don't know that was like one of the songs that Ray and Brandon listened to a lot. So, yeah. Was... Yeah, I remember the first time I came to came to play with you. Now, was I with, playing with you, Cody, in Wyoming, or no? I think I must have come with even in blackouts. I remember staying at, uh, at their house when they, when they lived with their parents back then. Uh-huh. Um, I'm sorry, I just went elsewhere. But I, I was trying to, re I was, I was, if anybody has any pictures of when I toured with you guys, I don't have a single picture of us playing together. Oh, really? I think I have yeah. somewhere. I've got an album somewhere. It might be at my parents' house in Wyoming still, but. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, how many years ago is that now? When, when was it? Since I moved out? Like two. Yeah. No, no, since we, when we, when we, when I toured with you guys that first time. <laughs> two years ago <laughs> I am getting old <laughs> that was like 2000s I think uh, 
see the 2000 that's good enough for me just to, the, the whole decade is good okay some sometime Early during that decade 2000s. yeah sometimes in that decade you and i you and i toured together mm -hmm. <laughs> played on stage for the first time I remember how I, I when I when I met you guys. I think in Texas. I think that's where I came out to. Mm -hmm. you I was down. learning the songs. Yeah, I talk about this in the book. But I was learning the songs while driving through across the country from Chicago, and in between watching like all those crazy religious or listening to those crazy religious programs, I would listen to the record, and I was using the the expressway as like the fretboard to like remember which which bar chord to be hitting were so. you driving the driving the songs yeah, yeah it's was. <laughs> it was a, it a little bit dangerous but i mean you know we were a little bit crazier back then maybe i don't actually that's something someone says but i think i'm much more crazy now than i used to be it happens <laughs> the older you get the crazier you, you know, get, is that is that how it goes? That's how my old man is. Cody, I love your like band. I, I have the Lillingtons tattooed above my eyebrow. John, I love everything you do as well. Four exclamation points. Oh man, how many exclama exclamation points did I get? Um, One. Let me see, you got you got three. I got oh, four. Three. Ooh, yeah, I got one more exclamation. Well, I'm about ten years older than you, so I, sh I maybe get one exclamation point for every. That's true. Ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick. What, someone says, "Just hey, Tackett says, play here, kitty, kitty." Is that a video you know? Here, kitty, kitty. I don't know. It sounds suspect. It sounds really basic, and it does sound very <laughs> suspect to me too. You know, you know, I, when I, I looked up something innocently the other day and it showed me porn. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> it was something Japanese because if you put the word Japanese into your Google machine, it usually comes up porn no matter what. Google. <laughs> what does that say? Big cat fight? What is that? Big cat fight. What's that? I don't know. Is oh, this Hey Kitty like... Kitty? And actually, I'm going to look up Hey Kitty Kitty, but I feel like a lots of things are going to show up and maybe oh, no. half of them born. Hey Kitty Kitty is, uh, <laughs> that's more of the uh, Tiger King stuff. The Yeah, you should throw up one of his. Oh, Kitty okay. Kitty, actually, look up uh, <clears throat> I Saw a Tiger. Joe Exotic. I Saw a Tiger? That's a good one. I had that shit stuck in my head for days. Against my will. Joe, Joe Exotic, I saw a tiger. Okay, yeah. let's play that. Hold on. I got to put it into the uh, program here. By the way, <laughs> this BDI program is pretty cool, people. Yeah, put it into the program here. The Google machine? And put it <laughs> into the Google machine. <laughs> there we go. You can see that guy. You can see it now, right? Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> Tell all the hunters <laughs> lay down their guns. <laughs> Tell them that the tiger. Ooh, did you see that little arm movement there? A little That's bit so of the last <laughs> run the jungle. <laughs> Let them roam their land. Then back in marvel and get mauled because <laughs> i saw a tiger now i understand i saw a tiger a tiger saw a man tiger saw a man I give him a home safe and home. but the law wants to ban me Tell me who's wrong. Oh my god, that song is five minutes long. We're not going to watch that whole thing. No, no. That song's old. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're outvoted. I love his pants. I love his pants, though. Are those but I, I'm outvoted, but I'm the one who has the uh, trolls over that. So. Oh, shit. Yeah, he does. That was like the first thing he did. It was like, I'm going to take control of this. 
Yeah, Bill was like, I, I think I'm going to purchase the the, uh, the the trial one month. I was like, no, I'll do it. <laughs> and he sends me a bill. He's like, here, you'll have to. <laughs> bill gets the bill. I mean, that's kind of it's part of his name right there. He, should, he has to pay. Yeah. Wow, he paid for half. I paid. I paid for half. He paid for half just for the month. That's because at the end of my 29-day uh, contract, I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, did you ever uh, – or Bill, did you ever see, I'm going to put this in here. Did you guys ever see this movie? This was uh, when I was touring back, way back. This was the movie Boy to see. Got looking, and his track was in that back, that trailer track, <laughs> which we just talked to the man, five minutes behind us. <laughs> see, the trailer made a track. We come out the same way he would come in. <clears throat> what is and that? You know that's got to be Red Hot Track. This is uh, Vernon, Florida track. by... Uh, Errol, by, uh, what's his we name? Errol. Yeah, by he Errol Morris. Stepped outside yet one time and come right back. I have a hard time watching anything Florida related. We started grabbing guns and getting position. Yeah, this movie is crazy. <laughs> I actually, uh, <clears throat> one time I actually went to Vernon, Florida to see if it was as crazy as the movie shows, and, and it was. <laughs> I tell the story that I tell the story that I was in a uh, me and my friend Peter. Oh, you met Peter years ago, mm -hmm. but we were in a uh, a diner, and it was just the husband and wife diner. And she was like fifteen or sixteen, and he was like I don't know mid twenties or something. And he's standing behind this teeny teeny cooking counter, probably with like one one like stove top, and he's just looking over like with this big huge claws like on this on the edge of it, and uh, and she said. And well, she said a couple of funny things to us, but one of them was uh, everyone in our town is either uh, uh, getting married or killing their parents. <laughs> wow. <laughs> then she asked us if uh, that her that her husband had just got her a new uh, uh, gun that she can hide and whether she wanted us to get the gun for us. And then he started reaching for his rifle. It was pretty bizarre. Yeah. Did you ask if she had a conceal and carry? Permit? Uh, <laughs> Is that a thing in Florida? I, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't even think they would know what those two words mean together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm just talking. Not Florida altogether. There's some great places in Florida. Yeah. They're all fucked up, no matter where you are in Florida. But this town <laughs> was really messed up. I mean, some of my best friends, Chris Barrows, who has his new book coming out. Did you are you are you in that, Cody? Did he uh, take pictures of Lillingtons or anything? I don't think so. Oh. Ah, yeah. Did know. you hear about his book? His book coming out. Mm -mm. You know, you know, he's been taking photos ever since he started going to shows years and years and years and years ago. And I tried to put his book out like eighteen years ago, but it finally got released. All his just sort of self done photos of all the bands that stayed at his house over the years and all the. Uh, bands that he saw i'm really excited about it yeah i'll probably uh, maybe i'll put a link in the the comments later but yeah really proud of him he finally got it he finally got it put out yeah that's awesome i bet he's got some cool yeah. stuff <clears throat> yeah kurt he's you missed kinda, the intro this, <laughs> it looks, kind of reminds me a little of you cody they're both you're both like really sort of uh soft-spoken <laughs> fellas that sort of rip it up once you're on stage <laughs> Have you ever seen him on stage, Chris Barrows? I haven't. No, I don't think so. he's he's a maniac. Yeah, like he's the most calm person I know in life. But you just put him on stage, and he just goes crazy. Yeah. Like really, it's like scary. You could see it in his eyes. He's <laughs> got those crazy, <laughs> crazy eyes. He's got those crazed eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Pink Lincolns broke up. I think by the time I kind of got into him, and he was doing Jackie yeah. papers when. We were around. I think we, he was at one of our shows at one point. But yeah, he's he's a good fellow. He's you know he's been in the scene like way way longer than any of us and more dedicated. But he's a good guy. Let's get back to cats. Cats. <laughs> well, I think Patrick wants a song here. Uh -oh. We should play him. I have the Patrick tiger. wants a song. He does. You should go find a something cat related. <clears throat> Here, let's let's see what this brings us. Oh, this will be interesting. Did you type in Kung Fu? Oh, 
No, I'm 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 giving you something unexpected because that's my job. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's a video first. Uh, I mean, a uh, advertisement first. So here, here I'll... okay. I have no idea what this is, but we shall now see it. One guy or two guys? That's all. Oh, Jesus. We got like a feline theme going. <laughs> That's not such a bad thing. No, I thought our theme was going to be uh, this. Oh, yeah. Well, where do we start? <laughs> How did that come up? Like, uh, it's because we were playing your house and you were having a barbecue for your for our birthday. Yeah, for our birthday, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then I, well, I was t- I was saying last week. I, did you catch that part about how I, it's hard for me to have you and Corey on the same message because <laughs> yeah. we can't get any business done whenever you two are on the same. <laughs> That's like anything with us. <laughs> we get off on something. It's, I'll get like forty text messages on my phone, like in the middle of the night, and I'm like, oh shit, something. <laughs> And none of it's anything important. I'm like, I don't have to check this because none of this shit's going to be worth <laughs> checking out. I think this is really, I mean, I know it's been difficult over the years sometimes, but you two guys are just uh, amazing. I love you guys as friends and as a creative team. So it's, you never quite know what to get from you guys, and you're, you know you're just really passionate about it. And I don't know. That's all I'll say to that. Oh, we love you too. <laughs> yeah, we actually, you know, Cody, we, we we joke a lot, but that last time was it when I came up for your birthday? We actually had some serious moments. I'm not going to talk about them now here live, but but it was nice. I had a really good time hanging out with you for your uh, for your wedding. Oh yeah, yeah, that was good. We got a Cody in the cuddle mood. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, we we well, everyone got really drunk then. Oh, actually, you know, we got the and I still wear that shirt in Japan. The that metal bar, what is it called? That place? Oh, uh, Black Sky. Yeah, Black Sky. Yeah, we we all got pretty drunk that night there. Yeah, we were all doing the the punching bag machine. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's how exciting the bachelor party. Was, I think. <laughs> we were drunk in the metal that's, bar, punching it punching machine it's really funny because you know I've, I've actually noticed over the years when you get like i don't know punk guys together it's it's actually really sort of mundane and <laughs> just like i don't know when it's everyone thinks it's going to be exciting but it's just a bunch of friends hanging out yeah so that's that's what was nice about it for me you know there was no kind of i don't know posturing or anything like that yeah totally yeah it was fun <laughs> i think if i'm if i'm wrong and i could have been <clears throat> I think somebody took a swing in it and just totally airballed that thing, like missed it completely. And they went 
hard at it. It was, I don't know. I can't. <laughs> was that, uh, what's his name from your other, was that the guy from uh, SAC or something that was there? Wait a minute. No, what? No. I can't remember. The drummer, the the shorter friend of yours. Oh, Shane? I just forgot his name. Yeah, I thought it might have been him or something. No, it wasn't. It wasn't him. I don't think he was there that night. Huh? But yeah. And then I think somebody like spin kicked it or something. And we were like, oh, shit. Like, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> so Chris Barnard, uh, B Face, said greatest movie ever. I think he was talking about uh, Vernon, Florida. Uh, and someone else says to look up fake feline friend. Oh. Do you know what that is? You're the one. You're the one with the controls. You should ask. Uh, you should ask B Face about his. Do you know about his Glockenspiel uh, playing? Does I thought there's a joke. Do you? Does he actually play Glockenspiel? Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a well. I'm gonna have to get him on this. Uh, this. This. This uh, live. Oh. 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 Here it is. Here it is. So. I'll, but I'll have to get B-Face uh, on here and he can play the Glockenspiel. How did you know that he played Glockenspiel? I've seen did him. he play it for you? Yeah, he played for me. He's got a double Glockenspiel. He uh, mounts one above the the bottom one. So he can he play a double Glockenspiel. It's pretty uh, ahead of its time. It's really nice to hear because, uh, I, you know, Jethro Tull uses a Glockenspiel. And I remember in the early uh, Weasel interviews, everyone would, you know, they'd ask us our favorite bands and, People would say the Ramones, and then I would. I, I felt like it was my duty to say something different, so I always said Jethro Tull. So it's nice that he that uh, B Face plays a Glockenspiel because that sort of supports my love of Jethro Tull. Yeah, not a lot. Who, of who also play the Glockenspiel? <clears throat> Let's see what this thing is here. I don't know what this that is. What's funny is it also says, I, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we found a cat video that Cody had never seen. Yeah, I haven't seen it. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. That's fun. I'm going to – you Bill, ask, ask Cody a question or Cody, ask Bill a question. I'm going to look through some of these and see if I can grab some questions. So take the, take the reins for a moment. Um. All right, so uh, you have plans to go see baseball when it opens up this year, Cody? Yeah. Are they doing baseball? I heard somebody said they were going to cancel the season, which I think is a bad idea. I think uh, Japan actually is trying to create a season right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, well, so I drafted this year. I don't have the greatest team, so if we do not have baseball this year, I get my 150 bucks back. So I'm kind of looking forward to not playing baseball this year. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was a bad draft. Yeah. That's that's a bummer. Yeah, I, I would like to go see some games. <clears throat> um, so do you go to Rocky games or just anywhere if you can catch a game? Um, usually when we're out, like Chuka always hits up where like a game if he can that's the first thing i think he googles when we uh post a tour is like he checks to see if there's any like home games and the sh places we're playing and he's hit a, he's hit quite a few he wants to hit them all i think but yeah i just go i usually just go see rocky's games when i'm home we used oh, to live like, you got a favor to the field okay Someone said to watch Winnebago Man. Do you know that one, Cody yeah, or Bill? Winnebago Man's pretty good. Is that a full long video or is it a short thing or what? Is short. It? Oh, okay. Let's I do think, that. I think if you Google uh, someone, uh, the worst cover of Final Countdown, have you had a chance to see that one yet, John? No, no. <laughs> that is by far my favorite <laughs> video. A uh, Winnebago Man is long, but maybe we could just watch a part of it or something. Winno Wait, Winnebago Man. There's a bunch of Winnebago Man. I don't know what's to, which one to play. 
Any of them. You got to oh, go down the rabbit hole. hole. <laughs> Our rabbit hole only has five to seven more minutes. So oh, no. I'm going to be careful not to go. I think it'll probably, like, whatever one you play will probably get the point across early on. Yeah. Okay. The Winnebago Concepts and Engineering Departments have developed a multifunctional bathroom. Privacy, I don't even know what the fuck I'm reading. I wonder what the <laughs> fuck the real dialogue is. What the fuck is this thing? All of the windshield, for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. What? what the fuck did I say? That didn't sound for shit, did it? We're, what we're doing is we're building a fucking industrial film, trying to give these guys everything they can get to me. And that's it. Fuck it all. It's going to be very helpful in keeping you from falling down, you big dumb son of a bitch. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> we suppose we open... Oh, fuck. 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Tony, do me a favor, will you please? Will you? Will you, will you do me a kindness? Please. Yeah. I think I'm going to be walking in and out if you get a fuck up and I had to come back. I don't that make any difference to me at this juncture. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Tony. Don't slam <laughs> the fucking door. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Okay, there goes Winnebago Man. Hey, uh, Cody, do you know? Have you ever seen uh, this one I'm about to show you now, or Bill? And it's actually not seeing it. It's actually a uh, uh, audio. Now we're up to our long distance dedication, <laughs> and this one is about kids and pets and a situation that we can all understand, whether we have Casey kids Casey. or pets or neither. It's from a man in Cincinnati, Ohio, and here's what he writes. Dear Casey, this may seem to be a strange dedication request, but I'm quite sincere, and it'll mean a lot if you play it. Recently, there was a death in our family. He was a little dog named Snuggles, but he was most certainly a part of... Let's come start again. I'm coming out of the record. Play the record, okay? Please. See, when you come out of those up-tempo goddamn numbers, man, it's impossible to make those transitions. And then you got to go into somebody dying. You know, they do this to me all the time. I don't know what the hell they do it for, but goddamn it, if we can't come out of a slow record, I don't understand it. Is Don on the phone? Okay, I want a goddamn concerted effort to come out of a record that isn't a fucking up-tempo record every time I do a goddamn death dedication. <laughs> Now, make and I also want to know what happened to the pictures I was supposed to see this week. It's a god last goddamn time. I want somebody to use his fucking brain to not come out of a goddamn record that is uh, that, that's up tempo, and I got to talk about a fucking dog dying. What is this fucking ponderous, man? Ponderous, fucking ponderous. Oh yeah, not fucking ponderous, fucking ponderous. <laughs> Such an elegant voice. <laughs> That's Casey Kasem. You know, you know, he used to do the voice in Scooby Doo. He used to do uh, Shaggy. Shaggy was uh, Casey Kasem. What? No, really. That's yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. There's actually a funny. Uh, uh, I forgot that guy's show. Uh, it was a sketch show way back where where they had Casey Kasem as a guest, and it's this guy that's in a restaurant, just fascinated with him, and he keeps on wanting him to do Shaggy's voice. What? I can't remember what that uh, TV show was, but yeah, yeah, he's Casey Kasem. Wow, not only a radio personality, yeah. <laughs> Who is oh, you? Rem so you remember uh, Dick? You remember Dick Biondi? Dick Biondi? Oh yeah. He like did uh, the the '50s show. He, he there's I don't think there's an audio of it, but he got I think in the '50s or '60s he's got he got kicked off the radio for a while because he's he said something like if 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 wait a minute. Mm, oh, if girls' hair get any shorter, they're good. Oh, if girls' hair is oh, that's it. It's the hip about the hippies. If girls' hair gets any longer, they're going to have to comb two heads of hair. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I got kicked off of the air in the sixties. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, cats. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best way to spend thirty minutes is watching cat videos and. Case yeah. I'm glad we did that. Um, someone asked if uh, I'm going to answer uh, just one question. Someone asked if the Mopes are going to get back together. The Mopes were actually never together, really, as a band. But we are doing a show if 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 uh, Italy can 
bounce back from this pandemic. We're supposed to be playing there in uh and you too, Cody, right? But we don't know what playing we're p playing in um Reduno if it if it, hopefully if it goes down. Mopes and the Lillingtons and yeah. Methadones. Um, it all goes attacked, through. I'm getting attacked by a skeleton right now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. happens. Is that Dana and the skeleton? Yeah. yeah. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Well, we can wrap this up. Oh, hello. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do want to keep good at keeping these short. So uh, let's wrap it up. Any words of wisdom from. Um, from the middle section there, Bill, or from Cody, or from me? No, I'm not a wise. Look at that. Man. Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have put the word wise in front of that. Yeah, you put me on the spot. <laughs> no. Besides, <laughs> uh, for the remaining part of the here, I didn't hear that. Did you hear that, Cody? I didn't hear what he said. Does, does William have anything wise to say? William, do you have anything wise to say? He's just nodding. <laughs> you got earbuds in? <laughs> he's not even listening. Oh, is he like listening to it behind us? What's that? Probably is he, if he's listening what? to it on Facebook. He tuned out. Oh, we asked if he had anything uh, wise. So the say. audio is like. William was like all excited today. Well, that happens. <laughs> Excitement dissipates. <laughs> Well, anything wise Cody, to say, William? No. No? That's no. pretty wise. If you Google it, delete it. Wise as it gets, yes. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, maybe I'll end this with, uh, yes. let's find out what, what no. the it's so like, machine. No, uh, it's like on our end, the audio keeps breaking up pretty good on us. Oh. Wise statement I'm putting into the Google, and we'll just go with the, Here's, 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 here's how we're ending it. A fool thinks himself to be wise, but a wise man knows himself to be a fool. self pity is our worst enemy, and if we yield to it, we can never do anything wise in this world. Wise men speak because they have something to say. Fools, because they have to say something. <laughs> I should also point out that Chris Bernard wants his money back on the comments. Oh, he wants his money back on the comments? Did he, like, pay us money or something for his comments? No, oh. Think so, but... uh, okay, well, actually, I'll, I'll give him back <laughs> triple the amount he paid. <laughs> <laughs> that seems fair. Yeah, it does. Well, boys, let's sign off to these uh, audience. Thanks for, uh, thanks for trying to send us questions and comments on the sides there. I'm pretty sure we'll get, me and Bill will get better at that. Cody, I'm hoping that you guys can play out soon. I, I miss seeing your faces in person. So. Yeah, we miss not playing for sure. Yeah. All right. All right, gang. Thanks. I'm going to sign off here. There. That was great. Thanks, for, thanks Cody. Yeah.